So when things are happening in our lives we don't like and we're drawing people into our lives we don't like and we're drawing experiences we don't like, instead of saying, why am I drawing these in? What is it about me that's creating this? What is it I'm putting out that's drawing this reflection in that I don't like? This pain in the arse has given me a hard time. Instead of taking that power back and responsibility for what we create in our lives, we look out there for it. Boom, boom, boom. And we're encouraged to. And so we're in a situation where we're looking at the reflection, trying to change what's going on. When we need to change what is being reflected. You know, if you're standing next to a river and you see a reflection of yourself and you don't like it very much, you can throw stones at it, you can cuss it, you can kick it, you can jump in and thrash around. All that external thing, which we do in our lives all the time. You're responsible, it's your fault, I'm in this position, out there, out there, out there, externalizing responsibility. But once all that thrashing is around is finished in the river, and once you've um, thrown all those stones in, everything settles down again, and exactly the same reflection is being reflected as was before. Because the reflection is merely, literally, a mirror of what is being reflected. We change inside, we change out here. This is the, the thing that we've been pressured, encouraged not to understand. Evolution is very, very simple. Very simple. It goes in this sequence. Experience, learn from the experience, evolve as a result of the experience. If at stage one, we're putting out energy, reflecting our state of being, and we draw in a certain experience as a result, person, place, whatever. If at the point where we don't like the experience, we are blaming everyone else out here. It's your fault, it was Ethel in 1963, it was me mother, it's me color, it's me sexuality. What is pulling that experience in is not changing, because we're blaming everyone else for it. So what happens is, because what's going out hasn't changed, what comes back doesn't change, and we hit these cycles in our lives, and we've all had them, and all still have them, where the same things keep getting repeated. We pull in the same type of person to have a relationship with. We pull in the same uh, situation in, in work. We, nothing ever works in our lives. And yet, when you look at that, what that is, is evolutionary just running on the spot. We're not moving because we're not changing what's creating what we don't like. So it goes on and on and on. Once we take responsibility back and stop looking out here to change what's going on and look at what's reflected out there, then in the same situation we say, hold on a minute, why have I pulled this experience in? What is there to learn? What is it about me that's done this? Okay, got it. At that point, your attitude, your imagination of yourself changes. When that changes, what you resonate out changes, so you start pulling in different experiences that reflect the new vibration you're putting out and not the old one. And when you kind of get into this mode of taking responsibility back, suddenly things dramatically change. And you can evolve ever so quickly. You pull in an experience. Oh, right, what is there to learn from this? Okay, got it. Change vibration. Evolve. Pull in a different experience. What is there to learn from it? Got it. Change vibration. Evolve. And you can move along so quickly in evolutionary terms once you start to open up to that. As more and more people on this planet are as this cycle of change unfolds. Or you can stand here forevermore blaming every bugger else for things that you're creating and we're all creating. And that's an option too, but not a very good one. So what we put out is what we get back. We are in control of our lives. No one else We've just kidded that we're not. For instance, I, I, I hear people, you must have heard this, where people go, um, nothing ever happens in my life. It's a bit so boring. It's a so boring in my life. Nothing ever happens. Everything I try, nothing kind of works, you know. And then you say to them, well, what do you want to do with your life? And they go, I don't know, really. Don't know, never thought about it. Now, I don't know, really, is actually a state of mind. Therefore, it is a vibrational frequency, and I don't know, really, goes out, and I don't know, really, comes in. Nothing ever works, because I don't know, really. If we can just focus on what we want to achieve 
and go with the intent, the most powerful thing we can do. What's our intent? What's our focus? This is what I want to do with my life. That intent goes out as a vibrational frequency and it will always bring towards us experiences and challenges that lead us to achieve what we want to achieve. That's where most people give up. They say, oh yeah, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do the other, that's my intent, and the intent then draws towards us what we need to do to achieve that intent, and when it gets a bit challenging, we go, oh, God. well, I'd like to do it, mate, but not that badly, thank you very much. And we're out of the game. So if we want to be free, and we want the world to be free, that's what our intent needs to be. And then the challenges and, the, and what we need to achieve that intent will come towards us, and then we can meet them and all this is over. Thank you.